Hey, how's it going folks? Stacker Noob UK back once again with another silver stacking video, you lucky, lucky people. Hope you're all doing really, really well. Now, first of all, apologies if I sound a bit odd today. I am just uh, recovering from a cold, so if you hear anything slightly strange, uh, that's the reason for it. Um, other than that, I'm normally strange anyway. Um, so recently uh, I released a goals video for 2019 and my last video actually, the 10 Libertads, uh, went some way towards one of my goals which was to, was to fill a tube of Libertads. But uh, one of the other goals I mentioned was to do with 10 ounce bars like this Pamp Suisse bar here. Now there are two bars in particular, I've got my gloves on because I'm going I'm to handle this bad boy and get her out. Ugh. So there were two 10 ounce bars in particular that I was looking to pick up. Um, I'm just going to show this side because I've never actually shown this side of the bar. But it's it's an absolute piece, isn't it? Look at that. Unreal. Gorgeous. There we go. That'll do. That's quite enough from me there. Oh. So, yeah, there were two 10 ounce bars in particular that I was looking to pick up. And one of them recently came up on the silver forum for me to purchase. So... Let's uh, go ahead and have a look at which one it was. Now, it's in this box here. I have already pre-scored the uh, the edges here and here because, as you can see, this is reinforced tape. And I've already tried to film this uh, video twice, but um, every time the reinforced tape was killing me. So I've managed to definitely remove it all now. I can definitely open the box, as you can see. Ta-da! No, no, it's more than just foam, I promise you. More than just foam today. All right, so let's uh, keep one hand gloved because I might want to handle this bad boy. Okay, foamy, foamy, there we go. Um, I've just torn it all. Oh, that's okay, there we go. It's, it's cool, it's cool. And it's already in its capsule. Lovely, so here we go. What we have is the 10 ounce Britannia bar. Isn't it? That's a gorgeous piece. Um, unfortunate striations there, looking like uh, packaging issues, but not from not from the seller, of course. These are just bullion bars at the end of the day, so they will get clattered around. They're not considered like collector's pieces or anything. Um, that that mark there is on the capsule, so that's fine. The capsule is doing its job. Look at that. It's actually really pretty for for just a billion ten ounce bar. That's really nice. Again, unfortunately, striations. I have heard of these issues with these bars. Um, again, just because they're billion bars, they don't really get looked after um, by the the dealers and by the mints, which is a real shame because that is a beautiful, beautiful piece. I suppose I would go as far as saying that is as as nice, if not nicer, than the Fortuna bar. Really, what do you guys think? I quite like the Britannia bar, I really do. Gotta be honest, I quite like that. Um, so it's already in this capsule, which is disappointing actually, because I was quite looking forward to putting it in this capsule, lovely and fresh out of the packaging, but that's okay. The sellers uh, tried to do me a favor, and I absolutely appreciate that. Should we uh, should we get this out? What's what's the deal with the, uh, the capsule then? Is there, I think this, this, this feels like a lid bit kind of here. Yep, here we go, we're gonna get in. Here we go. Come on. Why is it whenever I try to do this on camera, it never ever goes right? Never ever goes right. <laughs> there we go, right. We're in. So there we go. I'll try and hold it off a bit sideways so you can see. But beautiful. Beautiful piece. Again, packaging issues. Look at that. Because it's a billion bar, just it's been battered around. By the mints and by the dealers, unfortunately. Never mind. But she's looking absolutely beautiful there. Lovely trident. The, the waves behind it are really cool. She does rule the waves, of course, Britannia. And of course, you've got the, the normal Royal Mint 10 ounce 99, fine silver writing on the back. But again, the waves just make this look extra cool. So there we go. Let's try and get a thumbnail. What do you reckon? Thumbnail, like maybe like that for a thumbnail? I'll probably do a separate thumbnail. That is epically cool. I'm loving that. 
That is great. Very pleased to have been able to pick one of those up. Difficult to get hold of in the UK. Very difficult to get hold of, actually. Um, is that the right way to do that? Does it, does it go into this one first? It goes into this one first, right? There we go. Okay, and then we'll put that on like this. There we go. So yeah, these are, um, let me take this glove off. This, these are very, very difficult to get hold of in the UK. Um, the Royal Mint does sell them, but they sell them for like 180 odd quid, just for a single. I got this for 160. So uh, it seems that our American friends seem to get everything that we want a lot cheaper, which is annoying, even though we made this. So I'm bringing it back home. Yeah, very hard to get hold of. Um, I haven't seen many of the British stackers with, with one of these actually. Glad to be one of the first, even though they've been out for a while. But yeah, that is that is a nice, nice piece of silver, isn't it? So there we go, guys. We now have two lovely 10 ounce bars. The next 10 ounce bar that I want to get is the um, Canadian Royal Mint one, or the Royal Canadian Mint one, whichever, whichever way around you want to say it. The, uh, the 10 ounce bar, which I think is really, really nice as well. That, that, that would just make a lovely trio, wouldn't it? Imagine that just sitting right there. Anyway, there we go guys. Thanks very much for watching that. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Again, slightly disappointed with the with the marking from, from the transit, but again, it's not the seller's issue. It is a mint issue, and it's a packaging issue that the mint and the, uh, the dealers have to deal with, but I've heard that it is a problem, but never mind. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. Hope to see you again in the next video. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Really, really enjoy watching those numbers come up, and we're so close to a thousand subscribers now. I would absolutely love to make a thousand subscribers in the next month or so. And remember to leave a like and please do get in the comments as well. I really enjoy reading your comments and I try to respond to all of them if I can. Take care of yourselves guys, thanks very much and cheers.